Hello everyone, Randy here, and we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Snatterton's farm, and we're heading back home here from the logging area. Oh, speaking of logging area here, uh, we do want to fill up Tim's tables here yet. I forgot to do that here during the live stream. We we're going to do that, but we forgot. So yes, we want to get some uh, logs here for Tim's tables, as well as, uh, I don't know if this place has a name or not. Oh, Billy's Boards. So Billy's Boards and uh, Tim's tables need some logs yet. At least I'm assuming they both take logs. Actually, it probably says, doesn't it? Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Okay, not sure where the uh, fill point is here. Uh, fuels and logs. Okay, so it does need fuels and logs. Interesting. Good to know. We'll have to do that at some point, hopefully. Well, I'll see what's if we can get to that uh, this episode here or not. And we do have a light layer, or pretty much one layer of snow on the ground here at the moment. Again, the uh, snow was artificially added using the developer controls. The uh, weather forecast there is not showing any snow in the game for me, so that's the reason we've artificially added it. And just like I said, heading back to the main farm here, our animals need some food and cleaning. Well, they pretty much always need some cleaning. They've been needing a lot of that. We've pretty much been neglecting them, but we'll get them some uh, food here at the very least. Again, with the uh, Seasons mod, if you don't feed your animals, they will die. This uh, Mustang actually does surprisingly quite well in the snow. Okay. We'll leave that there. And like I said, let's uh, take a look at the animals here, what they all need. Uh, basically, since last episode, I did fast forward time through the night. We uh, skipped the night there. And uh, fast forward time a little bit until it was light here in the morning. Uh, during the winter time in the m game here, it uh, takes quite a bit longer for it to get light. Uh, you know, rather than being like 5 o'clock in the morning, it's getting light. It's now, ooh, like 9 o'clock before it starts getting light, I think. Something like that. Okay, they need water across the board. Hay or grass. Uh, straw. I think their pigs are pretty good on the wheat and all that other stuff. The pig food. Also, since last episode and the live stream as well, I did some uh, troubleshooting with my controls and you can see I can now raise and lower the blade here. I ended up removing the gamepad controls for the hydraulics, the lift and lower the hydraulics. I think it's about halfway down in the controls, something like that. And it's called lift and lower hydraulics if I remember correctly. So I just removed both of those. There's lift and lower hydraulics one and two. And there's two of them, one for lift, one for lower. And I basically just removed both of them. So now I should be able to operate this a little bit easier. Yeah, much, much better. Because now I can actually raise it up and it stays raised. There we go. So yeah, we can actually uh, plow some snow now. Actually, I don't see any mess there at the cows, is it? Oh, the cows are 100% clean. Okay, I'm not sure why or how they are 100% clean. Hope I didn't uh, push some grass off somehow and uh, put it up in the pile there. Oh well, if I did, we'll have to clean it up later.
I notice this doesn't work the greatest. I don't know if there's a better uh, no plow option out there or not. We'll see if we can actually make this work here or not. Let's see if we can plow our way to the road here. What we need is like one of the angled plows that work much better, probably. And also, this snow is probably not going to last very long. Again, it was artificially added through the uh, developer controls. And at least from what I've been told, when you do it that way, it only stays around so long. It's probably like 15 minutes, half hour or so, something like that, maybe. So at some point through the episode here, we'll probably have to add it back again if we want it. Yeah, it actually seems to work pretty good now, now that I got the uh, controls fixed. Uh, speaking of controls... Oh, let's see what's here. Oh, not that one. This one. I still have not been able to fix the controls for the CSE forks yet. I don't know what's wrong with these. Um, I really went through the controls. I deleted out all kinds of stuff and still... Still not, uh, not working right. As you can see, they're still opening and closing by themselves. Uh, I did notice inside the controls, there's a dedicated set of controls for the CSZ implements. I deleted out every single key binding for them. Uh, gamepad, mouse, uh, keyboard controls, I deleted out everything. And you can see they're still opening and closing by themselves. So I don't know what's up with that. That's definitely one possessed pair of uh, forks there, unfortunately. And like I said, I'm guessing there's probably something wrong with my controls, but I don't know what. And like I said, I deleted out everything that had anything remotely to do with loader controls, crane controls, and the dedicated CSC forks controls. So what is causing this? I don't know other than to say uh, CSC implements so far have been kind of a not so good in my opinion. Uh, we used them, tried to use them back in 15 as well. Uh, very buggy. And uh, the, so far, the one I've used or tried to use here in 17, again, opening and closing by itself. And I know a lot of folks are going to say, well, it's the controls. Well, yeah, it probably is. But let's uh, go to the telehandle here. This one's not opening and closing by itself. And then I would assume it uses the same controls, I would assume. Which is, you know, it's all the mouse here is what I'm using at the moment. Or I can use the... You know, the keyboard or the uh, farming simulator steering wheel, or if you have a joystick too, any you know, any controller basically. But uh, yes, yeah, so why is it opening and closing by itself? Like I said, I removed every single control, keyboard, mouse, and gamepad control, remotely related to loader controls, crane controls, and the dedicated CSE fork controls. So something is still causing this. Don't know what. So yeah, like I said, that's rather annoying. If anybody has any uh, suggestions, I'm definitely open to uh, trying them to get them to work. Like I said, they look nice, but they don't work. Period. So very unimpressed. Okay, back to, uh, let's see, we're in the fan, right? We're just going to try to plow our way here to the uh, gate. Might go really slow. Will it work better? Yeah, at some point it just gets to the point where no, nope, not gonna plow anymore. Go. And yeah, we'll have to add some more layers of snow here at some point. I don't know what the limit is. Uh, thank you, Gates. Why did you close? That is something I'm going to have to address as well in the controls. Um, let's see, let's see if maybe we can disable the mouse controls there for the Gates. 
Because, yeah, lo raising and lowering the blade here is on mouse controls. Uh, if I'm using a loader around the gates or doors, like, for example, the, the shed that we have over there, I'm trying to raise and lower bales and stuff inside that shed. The doors are opening and closing, and that's what was causing me the issue here uh, a few episodes back when we were using that. Uh, I was getting difficult there to look, raise and, or to put bales in it, and I found out the reason why. I wasn't really paying that close attention. I'm, hey, wait a minute. That door is slowly closing. I wonder why I'm having a hard time getting in here. So that's why. Okay, we need a trailer, which I don't have any trailers over here. I'm going to have to uh, get a trailer I can leave over here, aren't I? I wonder what would be a good uh, trailer to have over here. You know, probably actually a feeding trailer would actually probably be pretty good, right? Oh, we got the big uh, coon ones. I'm actually kind of leaning towards the big one here myself. Holds 20,000. What's this one hold here? That holds 16... Because hopefully we'll be getting into some more cows here at some point. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I don't plan on purchasing any more cows at this point. Definitely going to wait until we have uh, more food on hand, grass and whatnot. And I'm just going to reset this from the shop here. Okay, let's uh, go pick that up here a moment. And like I said, we'll uh, keep this by the cows. And if the plow worked a little better, I'd probably plow my entire way to the main farm, but probably need to uh, find a better plow option or something. Don't know why I have all the diff locks on. We definitely don't need that. Oh, this uh, wagon looks a little large behind this tractor for some reason. Oh, well. And for those of you who have played with the Seasons mod with the snow, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the snow definitely makes it far more difficult to drive. It does actually make it quite slippery. So uh, sliding around in the snow is definitely a thing. Okay, let's grab some grass here. Oh, we're not going to be able to load anything out of this one? That would be rather disappointing. We should have grass and straw in here, I believe, and some mixed rations. Yes, it would appear we can't actually load from that. Okay, I did not realize that. Well, we can at the very least dump some uh, straw and hold that way then. Yeah, won't even load from there. Okay, I'm assuming there's something in here, right? Uh, where's the fill level here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, 24,000. Okay. So we can't even load from there. Well, that's less than uh, disappointing. Let's see what's here. Pretty sure there was a Wilson step deck trailer in here. I'm not sure where that went to. Must have that somewhere else at the moment. Okay, where's the forks? I think the forks are over here yet. Hopefully... Yes, they are. Okay. And like I was saying, the thing we have to be careful out here, don't touch the mouse controls while we're near the doors, otherwise they will start opening and closing on us. Once again, like I said, very annoying. 
Because obviously we've got the bales in there. And trying to you know, move the bales around. Not the best. So we might have to switch out that shed there for something different. Let me get something without doors on it. Let me just make that you know, an equipment shed instead of a uh, shed for the bales. Okay. They need straw. I don't know how many bales of straw it's going to take, so... Let's just grab two of them. And again, I gotta be careful here. Don't touch the mouse controls while backing through the door. Actually, looks like they have quite a bit of straw yet. Okay, no, I just needed one. We'll uh, put that one back then. And it occurs to me one trailer we could uh, try here. we got the Massey Ferguson trailer that comes with the Massey Ferguson pack here. That might be a decent trailer to try for here. Oh, let's see what's here. Tippers. Oh, there's actually two of them. Okay, 14,000 liters. Actually holds snow too yet. Oh, great. Just what we need. We could try that, or we could just stick with the gravity wagons we got. Maybe we'll do that. Let's get it. Gravity wagon actually four here. Let's see, where's the gravity wagons? Oh, not under this category. Okay. There's those. Where are the gravity wagons? Okay, found where the uh, gravity wagons are located here. They are under the grain cart category. Just to recall, that's like, oh yeah, that's where they are. Not sure why they're under that category, seeing how they're not really a grain cart. But whatever. And went ahead and bought two more here, so we'll just reset those a moment. Thinking we'll either keep both of them together, or maybe we'll keep one at the cows, one at the pigs. We'll see once. I don't know if I'm quite going to make this here or not. Oh, we did. Okay. Like I said, we'll grab some whoa, snow pile there. We'll grab some uh, mixed rations here first. And uh, next season here, we'll have to definitely make sure we uh, stock up well on all the uh, items for the cows and pigs here. Uh, mixed rations, yes, we'll fill that. Uh, what else do we need from here? Uh, water. Oh, grass. Yes, they do need some grass. Okay. That uh, placeable fill point there, or storage point, actually empties almost instantly, which I find to be kind of annoying. Nice, but actually didn't empty it quite that quick. You could uh, control the level a little bit better, but oh well.
Okay, nope, I don't need to unload that anymore. There's you're not going to want to unload grass. Oh, there goes the snow. So like I was saying there, whoa, what did it take? Oh, actually, about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. Just add it back here. And again, for adding it back, developer controls. And we'll do SS, add, snow. Uh, capitalization there is very important. Takes a few seconds for it to come back. Are you full? No, they're definitely not full on grass. They just will not let me empty it. Probably another one of uh, Farming Simulator's lovely bugs in it. When you have multiple items that can be filled. It doesn't seem to like that at times. If you empty just the grass here a minute. hoping to be uh, smart about this use uh, two trails I could get both at the same time but yeah, maybe not oh you won't take grass here okay why not and it's grass right yes Grass is not accepted there. Okay, um, I forget what actually is accepted there. Not actually even sure, to be honest. I know water's at the other one there. Okay, now we've brought grass to the college before using a tipper like this. Showing the unload option. Why is it not taking it? Good question. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll leave that for now then. I'll come back to that. Not sure why that's not working. Really not sure why that's not working. And we'll just uh, put this back in the Silo King here. Okay, and do I have still the Massey Ferguson attached to the water tanker? I do. There we go, that works. And then we'll head down to the cows and the pigs here. They definitely don't take that much water, so I don't have to fill this up very often. And again, the fill point for this right down by the stream here, so not too far away. Or I'm assuming you could probably use, I think there's a water trigger up around the house there somewhere as well. You could probably use if you wanted. And it'd probably be a little bit cooler if we could get the uh, snow to stick around. Then maybe do a little more plowing. I'm going to see once maybe... to see at least according to the weather forecast there for Seasons mod. It says tomorrow's going to be 27 degrees. Maybe the snow will stick around a little longer then. I don't know. Again, at least from what I've been told, when you artificially add it like this, it doesn't stick around very long, like 20 minutes. And again, if you look at the forecast there, there's no snow in the forecast. So... Apparently, uh, I think I mentioned this last episode, like I was saying, I lucked out as far as snow goes this time around. And I was told, if, there, if it's going to snow, at least from what I've been told anyway, you will actually see snowflakes in the forecast. And again, you can see rain, but no snowflakes. And temperature-wise, too, at least, it's not really that cold. Okay, there we go. And you probably noticed too with the Seasons mod, 
you can only feed the animals for three days. So something to kind of make note of there. Okay, we'll just bring this back to the sheep here, I guess. That was kind of a good place to park it. And then we'll try to get the pigs some pig food yet and some straw, and then they should be all set as well. Okay, and back to... Yes, that one work. And speaking of straw, let's just grab a straw bale here a minute. There we go. Okay, we'll take this over to the pigs. And like I said, we'll probably just leave this trailer over by the pigs then. Careful here we don't go too fast and lose our bale on the front. Kind of nice here with the pigs and the cows being somewhat close together. Even the sheep aren't that far away. I don't know why it is, but it seems like a lot of map makers, uh, you know, even farming simulator, they like to put the cows and the pigs and the, the sheep all at different opposite ends of the map. Like, really? Do you actually do that in real life? I don't think so. Uh, straw is here somewhere, right? Where is the straw trigger again? I thought it was over here somewhere. And you can see it now hidden in the ground. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. I could be wrong on that. Oh, well, we lost it. That's fine. We'll come back to that here in a moment. Yeah, this is the one for the water. This is the one for the feed. And, yes, I thought the uh, straw one was over there. Anyway, we'll grab some uh, pig food here a minute. Hopefully we still have some in here anyway. Yeah, we got corn here. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's probably because I dumped it when you can't uh, put it back in. Uh, oh, we got straw, too. Good to know. Pretty sure we can give it to him in the bale form here. Ooh, we might run out of pig food here. That's all we have left. Well, we can just feed him straight corn, then. At least that'll keep him alive. I don't know about you know, reproduction rates and stuff, but... 13 left. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't have the root crops there needed to fill up the mixer there. Unfortunately, I can't do anything as far as that goes. And we'll just leave this uh, trailer here. Apparently, when it snows, by the way, your tra trailers will fill up with snow. So just to uh, note, they're leaving it out like that. Oh, there we go. Just found the trigger there. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, they need grass yet, and the sheep need grass. Okay. Well, if the cows won't take it, we'll give it to the sheep then, right? Let's uh, get that to the uh, cows and the sheep here a minute if we can, then we'll uh, wrap up the episode. Like I said, I was hoping to get maybe some logging as well, so we get to Tim's tables. And the, uh, the boards there, was it Billy's boards? Billy's boards and Tim's tables, I believe it was, filled up. We'll, uh, we'll save that for next episode. Then we'll tool. We'll see what's if we can add like a bunch of layers of snow. Maybe try some snow plowing here. See what's how that goes. Okay. Why or oh why would they not take straw or grass here? I wonder.
Yeah, it's, it's showing the unload option, but it's definitely not taking grass. Not even trying to attempt to. Okay, well, let's uh, take it down to the sheep here, see if it works by the sheep. Uh, if we've, like I said, I'm pretty sure we've used this uh, trailer before for bringing grass, so I don't know why it wouldn't work. We could actually bring the sheep hay as well. And that was actually my intentions to use the hay. But uh, seeing how I have grass in the trailer here. Uh, the cows will only take grass, so I don't really want to give them the hay. Well, I, we can give them hay too, but that's part of the mixed rations. I'd rather just give the cows the grass and keep it for the cows, and then keep the hay for the sheep at this point. Ooh, a little bit of snow in the building. I wonder how that happened. Grass is not accepted. What? I mean, grass isn't accepted here. Okay, then. Slightly confused. Weird. Very weird. Like, very, very weird. They definitely take grass. And the cows definitely take grass, but it won't accept it. Double check, this was grass in here, right? Not hay. I don't think I have any hay in storage, so I don't know why I would. Oh, let's see what do we got. Oh, I actually do have hay in storage. I'm not sure where or why I have hay in storage, but I do. I thought we bailed all the hay I had. Oh, you know what? I did have hay in storage. I think we uh, picked up some of the forage wagon, didn't we? That's right. I do have some in storage. Remember what storage I put that in again here. Because, yeah, we were going to put that in the uh, mixing silo there, uh, the fermenting silo. Uh, the fermenting silo does not take hay. It only takes grass. And we ended up tedding that entire field. Probably should have just tedded the part I needed and uh, skipped the rest. But, oh, well. We can use the hay for the mixed rations. Okay, double check. What did we fill up with? Wood chips, definitely not. Uh, total, nope. Grass. Okay, let's uh, try this again here. So that's definitely grass. No, definitely won't take it. Okay, then. Very, very weird. Do they not like grass in the wintertime or something, maybe? Oh, it's interesting. I can actually unload it right here. Yeah, I wonder why you can't give them grass. That's rather interesting. Now, uh, let's try hay. Problem is, the cows don't need hay. At least according to the menu there, it is grass. Let's see if hay works. Hay should work for the sheep, by the way. And it shouldn't actually need any because the mixed rations is full. Yeah, mixed rations is full, so they're not going to take any hay. I'm wondering if it's uh, something Seasons Mod changes, then. That's the only thing I can think of here. If it is just hay here, I'll have to remember we'll keep some hay up by the sheep here as well then. Doesn't really matter too much if we uh, give the sheep hay or 
grass. Like I was saying, I was just trying to keep the grass for the cow, since that's the only take grass. Okay, yeah, they'll take the hay. Interesting. I wonder why they won't take the grass. Like I said, the only thing I can think of here, I'm going to have to go look. Maybe something with the Seasons mod. Anyway, folks, with that, I think we'll uh, wrap up the episode here. Uh, like I said, we'll try to come back next episode. We'll get uh, Billy's boards and Tim's tables filled up there for logs. Oh, and I think it was the Billy's boards need some sort of fuel as well. I'm assuming that's just probably just plain fuel. We'll need to get a fuel trailer to haul some fuel down there. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, get that filled up. And then we'll maybe we'll play with some uh, snow here next episode. So anyway, with that, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until uh, next time.